Hi there, welcome to our Made Tech team interview series. This is a collection of chats aimed to better understand what each role within Made Tech is all about and if each of the great work members of our team are doing. My name is Carson. I am the digital marketing executive here at Made Tech. And today we'll be talking with Mark, our lead designer based in our Manchester office. Mark, how's it going? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? Good, good, thanks. Uh, good. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. To get started with a little bit about you, how did you become interested in design? Um, so going all the way back, um, I was very into graphic design from like a young age. Um, I had a really good art teacher in school um, who kind of got me into like graphic design and that kind of thing. Um, and I was messing, up, messing about with, you know, do you remember the, uh, the, the brightly coloured IMAX? We had one of them and I was always yeah. like hogging that in school. And then, uh, and then I found out it could be a career and I was just like, <laughs> all right, cool. And then initially before I started doing UX and that kind of thing, I was a graphic designer for a while um and then I kind of like merged into UX because I, I found it a lot more interesting kind of a lot more rewarding um, than, than just making pretty pictures yeah <laughs> sure nice and outside of work what hobbies do you have oh um I'm a massive music guy like I have lots of vinyl I know you can't see it it's just over here <laughs> Uh, I have lots of vinyl and um, I've got lots of gigs um and I have a dog so I really enjoy like going on on quite long hikes and that kind of thing out on the countryside with my dog as well. Nice. Do you play any instruments then? I do, yes. I, I used to play in bands when I was younger, um, but I don't talk about that anymore because there's some embarrassing, <laughs> some embarrassing photos of me on the internet uh, with embarrassing haircuts. But yeah, yeah. I play, I, primarily I play bass, but I also play a bit of guitar and that kind of thing as well. Nice, nice. Sounds fun. <laughs> cool. So before you joined Maytech, had you worked in the public sector at all? I had, yeah. So um, at most of my like career as a UX designer has been um, public sector. I started uh, at HMRC as an apprentice in 2015 um, mm -hmm. as an apprentice UX designer, and I've kind of worked my way through. Um, so I've, primarily all I've done is pretty much public sector. Nice, nice. How do you find working in the public sector? I, 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 I love it. I find it really rewarding. I think, mm -hmm. like I was saying earlier on about being a graphic designer and it not being that rewarding, I, I find kind of like seeing people use something you've designed and it helping them, like solving their their problem, like a real life problem, so helping them solve a real life problem is like super rewarding mm -hmm. um, over kind of just designing something to sell something, which I've done in the past, which isn't isn't very nice i don't think at least sure. i don't think it's a nice feeling for anyone who's looking to apply what was the interview process like for you it was really good um so it's a two-step interview process for designers um i'm quite heavily involved with it now as part of my role I, I i do a lot of the interviews um so you do a first one where you're just chatting with um someone like myself or harry uh, and then the second one there is a task um which is to turn some research into kind of some early ideas, do some sketching and that kind of thing, and um, which is all just sort of part of the job. And we, like, what I was never expected to spend more than half an hour on that kind of thing. Cool. Uh, what does your role here involve? Um, so uh, I think like sort of like 90% of my time spent on, on delivery. So I'm currently working on an off-gen project to do with... Um, like the government's net zero scheme. Um, and as well as that, uh, I think the rest, the, the, the next 10% of my time is um, very community focused. So I kind of like run, we have Tuesday, on a Tuesday, we have a design reviews, which I set up and run and that kind of thing. Um, and just stuff like that. Uh, also doing lots of hiring. So doing lots of interviews is kind of a big part of my role as well. Um, moving forward as well, um we're talking about putting together a design academy and i'm going to be very heavily involved in 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 that and kind of writing the clip curric curriculum curriculum yeah. For that. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. nice yeah that'd be great that'd be really interesting to see um so what do you like most about being a lead designer i think um i don't know you know um, <laughs> <laughs> um i think the main thing for me is how kind of like how nice it's been to kind of been it almost define my own role um in a way because I was I'm the first like lead designer within made tech like the there were expectations for me there that I needed to meet but a lot of the things that I'm doing like now like um 
talking about the Design Academy stuff and, and with this week and last week we've been start, talking about doing like events and that kind of thing like like um that sort of things these are none of this is like expectations for my role I think mm -hmm. um, but I've just been kind of allowed to define that myself which has been really good like I've never kind of worked in an environment where I've been just allowed to kind of like define what my role is and kind of like have that influence how we hire people and that kind of thing what is one of your favorite projects that you've worked on I think the so the off-gen uh, green gas support scheme project that I'm working on currently is super interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it's to do with uh, net zero and I'm kind of very big up on my kind of environmentally friendly stuff. Uh, so that's uh, basically to do with gas companies uh, wanting to build these things called the, the called biomethane plants and they have to apply to off-gen um to get a the basically get a grant off the government to help fund building these huge gas plants and hopefully by i think it's uh 2035 or something because of this scheme um our use of, of dirty gas or whatever you want to call it unclean gas is going to go mm -hmm. down so this scheme is something that i'm really on board with what do you like most about working at made tech oh um i think the people uh, like I said before, I love all the people. They're all great. Um, as well as that, I, I kind of just like um, just kind of the the attitude, like our core principles as an agency um, are very aligned to kind of UCD core principles, mm -hmm. and I think that's great. I've 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 worked in it for agencies in the past where maybe they were slightly too focused on. Um, the selling aspect of it and didn't really care that much about the kind of like making things users first but that's based that's baked into like like our organization from like a very very base level which I think has made the UCD's community like life a hell of a lot easier because we haven't had to spend a lot of time getting buy-in and that kind of thing because everybody understands what we're going for because it's just a basically company-wide thing this is how we should operate yeah yeah definitely i see that too um one last question for you do you have any books or resources you'd recommend for someone interested in a role like yours yes so i've got two here that are physical books that i'll recommend <laughs> perfect so this is a uh, good services by lou down um this is a very good book um it's about kind of service design and that kind of thing i don't um profess to be a service designer i'm more of an interaction designer than a service designer but everything i know about service design is from this book it's very good uh, you can get it on amazon and from all good book retailers and another one um that i go on about a lot and i, I, I may as well get endorsed endorsements from this book now <laughs> uh, but this is a web for everyone so i'm very much about um accessibility and that kind of thing and um, because i have neurodiversity needs um in that book taught me a lot about accessibility and how to kind of get um kind of business and stakeholder buying into accessibility. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one would be a book that I've got an audio book and I don't have a physical copy of, which is called Making a Manager. Um, I learned a lot about kind of management and in, in hiring and that kind of thing from that book, mm -hmm. which is really good. Great, great. Yeah, I'll be sure to link all of those in our blog post so people can go and check them out. But cool. yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. It was really interesting hearing about your experience and what your role is like. And if anyone would like to get in touch with Made Tech or has any more questions for Mark about his role here, I will add our contact information to the description below. Please feel free to reach out and be sure to stay tuned for our next Made Tech team interview coming next month. Again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Thank you, you too.